Welcome, Punch! Alright, he on X Games mode. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Smiling Man. Um, this is a remake of the game I played not too long ago. I can't necessarily remember um, what, you know, at what point in time it was I did play this game. But, uh, so yeah, so I, I got to the very start of this game as I ran into some issues with my recording. But we have a main story and an alternate story, and I will play the main story again. Just to get a fill for the game and its remake. And then we will play... Uh, some years ago I lived in the center of a large city in the USA. As I have always been a night person, I often get bored. I often got bored after my roommate who was not decided... Sorry guys. <sighs> who was decidedly not a night person, went to bed. To pass the time, I used to take long walks and, spent, and spend time thinking. I spent four years like that. Walking alone at night, never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. Okay. It was a Wednesday somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night even for a week night, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was in most nights, was completely empty. <sighs> as I was saying guys, um, I'm going to play the main story to see how it is with the remake even though I pretty much consider I don't want to say consider remember the original story um, as this was the game where we ended at the gas station and we had to grab the car keys and get in the car in the end but um We'll play the main story just to see the differences. It's much more lively now, walking through the park and, and other stuff, but um, yeah. After a long time of walking, uh, on the title screen, we saw the, the smile man. And his new, uh, it's been a long time, I'm tired, I'd better go home. So his updated look, he does look better. Um, but yeah, what I'm really interested in is the alternate story. Alright, let's take a look around and see. We got a car driving past, nothing to worry about. Just a fine little walk in, um, you know, anywhere USA. All right. Do, 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 do. I was walking down a small street to get back to my apartment when I noticed it at the end of the street. There was a silhouette of a man dancing. I don't see anything, but okay. I'll take your word for it, bro. I don't see a man dancing at all. I can't be the only one. Where's there a man dancing? I think that's him coming up. Oh, uh, yeah. It was a strange dance. As he danced, he took a step forward. I guess you could say he was dancing coming straight towards me. Uh, look at that. Look at that gangster walk. He's creeping out here. I'm glad we're getting to see more more action from the smiling man other than him chasing us. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open and wide, wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon smile. 
cartoon of a smile. Probably not how I would have worded that sentence, but okay. I take my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? Oh. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me but still looking skyward, smile still wide on his lips. Okay. All right. See, he's a bit more creepier in this one. He was creepy in the original, but this is just something different. Afraid he's gonna be chasing me. Oh, what is this? Oh. This is a cutscene. My hands are off the keyboard. He had crossed the street and was now crouching slightly. Uh, he looks like um, Captain Falcon. I was so shocked that I just stood there for a while looking at him. He's about to like Falcon punch. Why are you crouching down like that, bro? He took giant exaggerated steps on tiptoe like a cartoon character, sneaking up on somebody, only he was moving very, very fast. And yet you're just standing here, watching him come towards you. What, what, what the F do you want? What the freak do you want? Oh, he just wants to turn around and run away. All right, well, he obviously he's tweaking. There's no other option. The smiling man, more like, oh, what? He's coming back. Oh, what? What? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm running. I know that much. <laughs> Why did he come sprinting back like that? I don't know where I'm going either. Just running in a straight line. All right. I'm tempted to look backwards, but I don't want to at the same time, you know? I ran until I got off the side road and went and back onto a well-lit, low-traffic road. When I looked back, he was nowhere to be found. Throughout the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night and never went out for a night scroll again. There was something about his face that haunted me. He didn't look drunk, he didn't look high, he looked completely and utterly insane, and that's a very, very scary thing to see. I mean, he just, he just dashed right back. Alright, so, that was the main story. They definitely changed it. I don't remember who did the original. I assume it was Noxus Games. But either way, they did change it slightly because the first one, I believe, took place over several nights. Um, it seems like one of those Reddit... I, I, I think it's No Sleep stories. Um, I'm not too familiar with Reddit. But... Um, yeah, we still have a play alternate story. We still have a whole nother story to play. It'd be crazy if we played as the smiling man. One night I went to the market to buy something to eat. 
I do this a few times a week, not only to purchase food, but also to appreciate the nighttime tranquility. But this time was different. I came face to face with evil in its most sinister form. A tall man smiling and radiating a terrifying energy. I left a bit later than usual that night. It was 2 a.m. after that night. I never went out again at that hour. Okay, spooky. I wonder if this is going to be... I guess something loaded in. The game was running just fine. I guess it just needed it hiccup to there. I don't know. All right. Yep, the gas station. Quick mart. I thought that's a quick fart coming up on it. Pick up something to buy. To go with the barbecue shopping list. Why not have a good little barbecue? Maybe invite the smiling guy back to our place. Feed him a burger. Maybe a hot dog. Maybe a burger hot dog surprise. Uh, maybe it'll save our life. Who knows? You know. I'm sure that's what he wants. He's smiling all the time to hide the depression. It's, it's typical for most men, you know? All right. I'm expecting to see him in front. Or not in front, but on the other side of the road. I'm expecting to come up on him. Also, quick note. The Quick Mart's front doors were left open. <laughs> I don't know where home is. Okay. I'm definitely not seeing him. Oh, what? What is your deal, bro? Smiling guy. What is your deal? I wouldn't have noticed him either had the game not... Had the game not... Pointed him out there, I would have ran right past him. See, I remember how this game ended. I remember how it ended. And then I remember... I remember bits and pieces, but some of it is, some of it's all brand new to me. Well, not brand new, but it's coming back to me. I remember him being in the middle of the road. I remember him chasing us. And I think he killed the dude at the gas station, if I remember correctly. What is your deal, man? Hope he's doing his little... His little girl flower run. Buy my roses. My tulips. What the freak do you want? Is he gonna run off like a like a little girl again? Oh, yep. And then he comes sprinting back. Does he? Or does he just run off? Is he going to come? 
Full speed jogging on back. No. We move forward. He just ran off like it. Survive or die. Oh. He's Sonic the Hedgehog, dude. Like. This is the same game. Except he's a little bit more creepier now. Whew. Survive or die. How did you get behind me, bro? He disappeared. He's a baby. You're a baby. You're a baby. You're a baby. Why did you shut the door so you can see in here? At least in the original, it was... That Psycho killed him. In the original, it was at least an enclosed space. He couldn't see in here. It wasn't made of glass. The doors are open. What about the car? I think I remember that now. I'm pretty sure if you check the body in the original, you get the bad ending. This whole grown up supersonic Japanese schoolgirl running man. Oh, yeah. We came back at Survivor Die. He is Russian, too, dude. I got that. Why are you so slow, bro? I could stop right now and let him catch up, but I'm not that invested. Okay, shut the doors. Now we look for... Car key. Door. Hi, how are oh. you? You... He's literally right outside the door, like. Oh, I hate this man so much. Well, that was the smiling guy. And let me guess, he just returned home as if nothing ever happened. We got the good ending. I guess the neutral ending is just not playing the game. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of on this remake of The Smiling Man. It's still the same game. I really like the new graphics. It, it looks better. Feels better. It's definitely still the same old game. It's fun. There's not a whole lot I can say about it that I haven't already said about it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.